What if I told you that, for the first time, we may have caught a glimpse of what's actually happening inside a black hole? The James Webb Space Telescope has returned images and data that push the limits of our understanding. And they may change everything physicists thought they knew. But here's the twist. The most surprising part isn't what we saw outside the event horizon. It's what the patterns suggest might be going on inside. And once you hear it, you won't be able to look at black holes the same way again. If nothing can escape a black hole, not even light, how can we possibly claim to have any information about what's happening inside one? That's the first question scientists faced when the James Webb Space Telescope sent back a set of observations that seemed to do the impossible. To understand how this happened, we need to look at what makes Webb different from every space telescope before it. The Hubble Space Telescope gave us some of the most famous images in astronomy, but it works mainly with visible and ultraviolet light. Webb operates on a completely different part of the spectrum, infrared. This lets it detect heat and faint glows from objects far too dim for Hubble. It's not just the range that's new though. Webb's instruments are incredibly sensitive, capable of picking up light signals a hundred times fainter than what earlier telescopes could detect. That extra sensitivity is what allowed it to focus on the very edge of a black hole's event horizon and notice something strange. The event horizon is the point of no return. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, once something crosses that line, it's gone, forever hidden from the rest of the universe. For decades, this was treated as an observational wall. You could see what happens to matter outside this boundary, but you'd never know what's going on inside. The fact that Webb's data appeared to hint at processes beyond that limit immediately caught attention. It didn't pierce the event horizon directly. Instead, Webb used its infrared instruments to study subtle disturbances in the region surrounding it. These disturbances included gravitational ripples and tiny bursts of energy that changed the light patterns nearby. Think of it like pressing your ear to a wall during a conversation. You can't see the people inside the room, but you can pick up on vibrations that tell you something is happening. Those vibrations, in the black hole's case, were in the form of light variations and energy waves. What's remarkable is how structured those signals were. The light near a black hole should be chaotic. Matter spirals in, heats up, and radiates energy in unpredictable ways before it disappears. What Webb recorded didn't match that profile. Instead, there were consistent deviations, patterns that repeated in ways no one expected. These weren't random flickers, but faint, organized pulses buried amid the surrounding chaos. Even small changes in these signatures matter. In physics, when you have a solid model for how something should behave, and you see a deviation, it can mean you're looking at a new phenomenon altogether. The patterns hinted that matter close to the event horizon might be interacting with space-time in a way we've never seen before. That's not just a curiosity. It could mean we're capturing an indirect trace of whatever is happening deeper inside. The data, when mapped, produced what some are calling the most detailed external blueprint of a black hole's inner activity ever assembled. These repeating light signals could be the black hole's version of a heartbeat, a sign of a regular process occurring within, perhaps linked to matter slowing, transforming, or encoding information before it's lost to view. If that's true, we're looking at something entirely unseen in black hole physics until now. So, if matter isn't behaving the way our best models predict, what does that say about the nature of gravity, the fabric of time, or even the boundaries between the inside and outside of a black hole? Could patterns of light and energy escaping from a black hole be the first real sign that something we thought was impossible is actually happening? That's the question scientists are now asking after the James Webb Space Telescope recorded a set of signals that don't behave the way our best theories say they should. These weren't just random flickers from materials swirling into a black hole. They were repeating bursts and rhythmic waves appearing over precise intervals, almost like a timing pattern hidden in the noise. Normally, the radiation around a black hole looks chaotic, 
matter accelerates toward the event horizon, heating up and releasing energy in unpredictable, messy ways. That's what models say, and it's what telescopes have always seen. But Webb's new data didn't match that picture. Instead of total randomness, there were consistent peaks and valleys in the readings. Imagine hearing a drum beat clearly against the crackle of static, except the drum is coming from one of the most extreme environments in the universe. One possible explanation for these organized patterns is interference caused by quantum effects like Hawking radiation. Now Hawking radiation has never been detected directly. It's a theoretical process where black holes emit a faint glow as pairs of particles form near the event horizon. But what Webb picked up seems far more intense and structured than what the math predicted. If these patterns really are linked to this effect, they'd be happening on a scale we've never measured before. There is also a second, very different idea. Instead of radiation escaping from nothingness, the readings could be traces of matter, leaving a sort of imprint before crossing the event horizon. This connects directly to what physicists call the information paradox. In theory, any information about matter that falls into a black hole should be lost forever. That would be a huge problem for quantum mechanics, which says information can't be destroyed. If these patterns are an actual imprint of data from material right before it vanishes from our view, we might be seeing hints of how that paradox is resolved. Think of it like watching a whirlpool during a storm. Everything around it is chaotic, water flying in all directions, but right in the middle, there's a strange, stable swirl that doesn't break apart. That central whirlpool isn't supposed to stay intact, yet it does. The black hole's repeating signals are like that, a smooth spot of order in a universe of turbulence. Some theorists have suggested that this order might point to something much bigger. The possibility that a black hole isn't just an infinitely dense singularity, as Einstein's equations suggest, but instead has layers internally. If that's true, the signals Webb picked up might be echoes or rhythms created as material interacts with those layers during its final moments outside the horizon. That could mean black holes aren't just swallowing matter into nothingness. Instead, they could be structuring and storing information in ways we don't understand, functioning more like vast, hidden data systems than cosmic destroyers. This would be a major shift in how scientists see them. It might even mean that black holes preserve a record of everything that has ever passed their threshold, locked beyond our current reach, but not erased from existence. And if that theory is right, then we may need to rethink the role black holes play in the universe entirely, not as the ultimate endpoints of matter and light, but as the universe's most secret and complex archives. Webb's latest findings point to something radical. Black holes might not be empty endpoints at all, but places with organized layers and stored information. That challenges decades of certainty about what happens past the event horizon. Think about what that means. If these structures really exist, black holes could hold clues about how the universe began and where it's heading. They might even be keys to understanding the link between gravity and quantum physics. And with every new observation Webb makes, we could be getting closer to the first real glimpse past that invisible boundary we once thought was absolute.